I'm going to high dive right in the deep end of the gateway. Uh, but we're actually going to start in the designer once again. I have one last thing to show you here before we transition. In fact, it is a transition. But you can see down here on the bottom right, bottom right hand side of the designer, you have this little connected icon, right? I'm connected to the gateway. If you lose connection, that'll that'll have a break connection, right? But we can actually also click on that little icon and it launched in another window, but it launches the gateway that that designer is connected to. So a handy little way that you can jump straight to the gateway from the designer. But the one of the things that I wanted to show here is actually under status and metrics dashboard. So the metrics dashboard um, is actually a way where we can kind of build a dashboard of data that we want to see. Obviously, there's a lot of things across the gateway, a lot of data, uh, a lot of metrics that we can track and follow, but the dashboard allows us kind of bring all that information together. And so, for example, um, we'll go ahead and just create, let's create a new, save as new. I'll save a, um, just put a, some text in there, save my dashboard. Uh, maybe I want to delete some of these, delete some of these larger ones and kind of make it my own, right? Maybe I'm deriving this from somebody else. We'll go ahead and add a metric. So you can come in here, you can look at maybe ignition, performance, threads that we're using. Maybe I want to look at blocked threads. Um, add that, hopefully there's, yeah, there's none right now, but maybe another metric that we could add is the actual threads that are uh, running. Right, so we can add the different statistics in there that we want and then go ahead and of course save that. Yeah, I want to overwrite the existing. Um, and now I have yet another dashboard that I can select. So I was, here's my example metrics that I was using and here's my uh, ASDF but dashboard that I just created. So again, a handy way to bring some metrics together. The other one that I'll mention here is uh, a couple different gateway URLs. Now, one thing that I will mention, kind of a disclaimer before I dive into these is these can and might change and are not officially supported by inductive automation, but they can be handy uh, for building different types of projects or doing different types of things. So the one that I'm, a couple that I'm going to mention here, uh, this first one is called system dash gateway info. And so this URL extension is going to return exactly as you'd imagine with the GW info, gateway info, right? A bunch of info about that gateway, what, what the status is, the gateway address, maybe the, the name of it, the, the current version of the gateway, et cetera, right? So that, that can be handy. Another one that you might uh, utilize or that you could utilize here is our status ping. And so this is going to return a very basic JSON structure here, literally just returning what state that gateway is in, right? Whether that's running or maybe it's stopped, maybe we are starting up, those types of things. And it allows you to, you know, kind of see the state of that gateway. You might be thinking, well, where the heck would I ever use this? Great question. So think uh, maybe you are using Ignition as a web dev endpoint, right? And you want to make sure that this gateway is up and running before you send a request, right? So that might be one use of this, this one here. Another one that uh, I figured I'd mention is data.perspective.projects. And so this brings back all a list of a JSON structure uh, or a list of JSON structures. And this probably is familiar to you if you're use, used to using perspective, right? All the properties are lists of JSON structures. But this is going to bring back all the projects that are, you know, on the gateway. So you could maybe use case for this one would be, say you create a project that you want to launch into other projects and kind of make that pro the, that list dynamic. You could absolutely use something like this to be able to do that. So short and sweet, but that's all I have for some gateway tips. I know, Eric, you have um, some more. So I'll go ahead and throw it over to you to talk through a few more gateway tips. That's right, Reese. With all these quick tips, we are really pulling ahead in the gold medal count. So I have a couple quick quick hits here. Uh, the first one isn't something that's new. This came out in 8.1.20. It also doesn't really save you a lot of time, but it adds a little bit of flair to your pro project. What I'm talking about is co-branding. If you haven't seen this before, take a look. 
Alrighty, if you have the perspective module installed, at the bottom of your config, gateway config page, you can click co-branding and we can enable co-branding here. Alrighty, so uh, we'll make, let's, let's make a fun little thing here. So let's see, background color, we'll use some Olympic themes. Text color, eh, we'll keep that white. Button color, let's make that let's make that yellow. Making use of the the little dropper here, and then uh, we'll keep we'll, we'll put this black. Now, for the logo, put this little guy, and the favicon, and use this guy. So the logo is what's going to be displayed on your application, the favicon is actually this little icon up in the top on a tab. So if we just scroll down here for a sec, we can see a preview of what this might look like. In case you didn't know, every Olympic Games has a mascot. This is the Paris 24 mascot. So the more you know. I'm gonna go ahead and save these. Oh, before that, the app icon is used only for iOS. This would be the iOS application icon. So I'm gonna go ahead and save changes here. And I'm gonna head over to my project, launch a project, and look at that. Now we have our, our favicon up at the top and we have our little guy waving at us with our new colors. If I log in very, very, very quickly, you saw the loading screen. If I had more than just a single image, it might take a you know another quarter second to load and we'd be able to see that guy too. All right, last tip here. If I come down into and, and take gateway backup, so this is something we'll all be familiar with. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And we'll bring up, bring up a window here. And now, oh my goodness. Um, I could bring this up in Kindling. If you're not familiar with Kindling, this is an open source project developed by Paul Griffith in the Inductive Automation Development Team with help from our Ignition community. It's an open source project. And this allows you to do all sorts of cool things like viewing different things about your gateway, say the, the gateway version or what perspective projects you have and the, the, the number of all the resources you have, database connections, OPC connections, and so much more. So it's the same stuff if you were to open up a gateway backup in your, your, your file explorer, you'd be able to see all of these same things, but this gives a little bit of a visual to it. So for instance, if I just go ahead and click on this SQLite database here, this is the internal database that stores all of the gateway settings. So if I come in here, here's our co-branding right on top. I can select this, this is uh, just a, a SQL, SQL language format. And we can see all of the things that we just set there, our colors and the favicon and image, all these things. So you can take a look at all of the internal tables and, and so you can get an idea of, of what's going on in your gateway.